weapon in his police walkthrough indicated the gun was down his back. But today, his own attorney, attorney O'Mara, indicated the gun was down his front. Now, could this uh, potentially be confusing or misleading to the jury? Well, here, they're going to look at George Zimmerman's statements and his entire story, as I said before, with a certain level of scrutiny. And here, if you want to claim justification for killing someone, here's what you say. They were reaching for my gun and told me, you're going to die tonight. It's as if it's a perfect justification. That's what you say, a textbook scenario. In order to believe that, however, you have to believe that Trayvon Martin walking home, knowing that a 12-year-old is waiting for him, and he has skin for that 12 year old decides at that moment he is literally not just going to beat George Zimmerman up but murder him and tells him you are going to die tonight that is an incredible story in and of itself now Lisa we had a friend of uh, uh, Zimmerman testified that in fact that uh, Zimmerman had told him that Trayvon Martin actually grabbed his gun That's listen right. to this he told you um, that he, the defendant, managed to grip to to break the grip on the gun, uh, where the guy grabbed it between the rear side and the hammer. Correct. Whether it was the gun or the leather casing, or just reaching down there and grabbing something. But Lisa, the DNA experts testified there was no evidence of any fingerprints or any DNA or anything like that on Trayvon Martin. Uh, that it would establish that he grabbed the gun. That's right. And there's contradictions on grabbing, seeing. I mean, we're all over the place on this. Right. I mean, my view is it would have been next to impossible for Trayvon Martin to even have seen it, given the conditions, given where Zimmerman was wearing it, inside his pants, etc. But if Trayvon was reaching for the gun, right-handed as he is, as he was, he would have had to reach around and behind in a very awkward manner it just doesn't make a lot of sense. And by the way, the grip of the gun would extend in a diagonal in that holster towards the small of Zimmerman's back, being almost completely directly behind him. I mean, the story just really doesn't add up when you put all the physical evidence together. Now